Backpack. Ah, where's my backpack? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna be like freaking on my tree. Ah! Go. Grandpa, you're gonna be late. Uh, Mom. Ah, no, just a second, Mom. <gasps> there it is. Okay. Ah! Mom, Mom, I'm sorry. I couldn't find my backpack and then I found it, but then I couldn't find my trigonometry book. And <sighs> Okay. Um, who's gonna drive me? Sorry. Sorry, Samantha. I can't. I have to go into work. Mom? Your sister's driving me. Oh. Okay. Where is she? Now. In her room. Oh, okay. Okay, thanks, Mom. Bye. It's a piece of work. What are you doing in here? Mom said you were in your room. Yeah. Well, I had to pee. And if Mom said I was in my room, why would you come in here? Well, I had to pee. No, come on, I still have to go to high school. Like, I get it, you're in college and you're cool and all, but I have to go to high school, so come on, let's go! Fine, I'm coming. Has the bell rung yet? No, girl, but like, we have like one minute. Jeez, I thought you just got to class on my own. What took you so long? Oh, my sister had to drive me because my parents couldn't drive me, and ugh, I couldn't find my bag, and I couldn't find my trigonometry book, which I still can't find, and... Go yell at my house. I go to you in class. <laughs> You're a mess. I, I know. Oh, I heard about this new conspiracy theory last night. Okay, so. We don't have time for this. We gotta get to class. Uh, yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where Lane is. I mean, he's never late. And he hasn't given me a gift today. I mean, like, what am I gonna do with no gifts? I mean, I had to buy this choker with my own money. <laughs> Well, my dad's money. <laughs> Maybe he's just running late. Maybe he had to feed his chickens. I mean, like, doesn't he live on a farm? <laughs> no, I would never date a person who lives on a farm child. <laughs> and he doesn't run late. Lane doesn't run late. I mean, who would run late when they could be talking to me? <laughs> I don't know, Victoria. Actually, I don't know a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, we've established that, Carly. I have a question about my Spanish homework. What's high in Spanish? It's hola. No, what does high mean in English? You're honestly so stupid. Like, please stop talking to me because you're lowering me, lowering my IQ. Get away. Okay. Micah, when I say I want to be alone, that means I want both of you to leave. And, like, I don't know which way to go. I don't care. Just away from me. But maybe since you're so stupid, you should go to class so you can, you know, count to ten. I'm going to count to ten. Negative one. Negative seven, negative eight. 98, negative 10. And I even know what kind of numbers they are. Pi. Please, please stop. Like, honestly, I, I just lost, like, 10 IQ points. Please go. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they're literally so stupid. Victoria Lane, why did you not get here sooner? Sorry, I mean, my dad's sports car was, my sports car wasn't starting up, so I had to take my dad's, and it was just, like, it was almost out of gas, and we had to stop at our private chauffeur, and he wouldn't let work, and just, it was a mess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, for some problems. Now, did you get me anything? What do you mean? Like a gift. You haven't got me one for, like, three days. Well, um, I guess during lunch I can go and buy you something, but, like I said, we were running late. Listen... <laughs> You have to buy me things. That's how relationships work. Mm, I'm sorry. <gasps> He's coming. Who's coming? What? Kiss me. <gasps> Listen, Victoria, you're a great kisser, but I have to get to class. <sighs> just, just fix your hair. It's a mess. It... What are you doing? 
I need to get to class. You better buy my flowers. Do you want chocolate? I don't like chocolate. Oh, I, oh, you pushed me. I'm sorry. You better buy me more. Better price it now. Oh, oh, okay. Ow. What did they do to the walls in this class? Apparently they, they just did this research study. And apparently this pink color helps me focus better. Focus better. I can't focus in this classroom. Hey. I'm just saying what I read on the school website. Hey. Matthew's in this class? What? I thought Matthew was still in Algebra 1. I don't know. Let's go ask him. Uh, actually, I need to go talk to Mrs. Vanderbilt. You can go talk to him. Oh, okay. Matthew, what are you doing? Huh? What? Oh, hey, Samantha. Matthew, what are you doing? You're not in trigonometry. I thought you were still in Algebra. Math isn't exactly your strong suit, if you know what I mean. Ha ha, very funny. Yes, I know it's trigonometry. I've done some extra work, and I've gone to lots of tutoring, so I can take trigonometry now. I mean, I want to be an engineer, and I realized that I couldn't if I was still taking Algebra 1 as a, as a junior. Oh, well, d uh, okay, I guess. Also, have you seen these pink walls? Yeah, I know. And, like... Mm -hmm. Those outlet plugs, they apparently put, they apparently added more to the classroom, and it's just like, why are you doing this, you know? Yeah, I know. Class, please take your seats. Oop, reverse it down. Um, where? There's only, like, three chairs. Class, I know that there aren't enough chairs for everyone. We'll get two more desks. Please just either stand or take a seat. Come on, let's go. Oh, here's Samantha. You can take my seat. Thanks. Um, did no one save me a seat? <laughs> Ugh, I hate how Victoria has this period. I know. And she doesn't have it with her boyfriend, Lane, so she's always so mad and angry. Well, I mean, I haven't had any classes with her in a while because, well, I was taking the easier classes and somehow she's in the smart classes. <sighs> so no one saved me a seat. Move. I, I, I can't. I'm in a wheelchair because I was in a car accident when I was young and I'm paralyzed from the waist down. I don't care. I'm not standing. Like I said, I... I, I can't. Move! I can't believe you. Victoria, is there a problem? Well, she's upset because no one saved her a seat. Victoria, like I said, we don't have enough desks because they repainted and refloored this whole classroom. And they kind of messed up and they're still bringing in the desks. Like I said, everyone who doesn't have a seat needs to stand because I have a very important announcement. Is that clear, Victoria? <laughs> Victoria. Victoria? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Alright, class. I know the board says to take out your homework, but, um... Uh, there's something else that needs to be done. I didn't hear about it until about, well, five minutes ago, so I couldn't tell you guys, but... What is it? Well, um... Excuse me for a moment. Matthew, what do you think it's about? Man, gee, I, I don't know. It sounds important. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sad. Yeah. Guys, I'm worried. You guys are a bunch of idiots. It's probably just like some assembly or something. Victoria, no one was talking to you. Yeah, well, I know they're all thinking about it. Especially Matthew. Right, Matthew? There's another teacher talking about what we need to tell you. Um, <clears throat> last night, a student in your grade, her name is Ariel Smith, was found dead in her bathroom because of an apparent suicide. Um, the parents have not scheduled a visitation or a funeral, but they want you all to know what's up. But when they do, they want all the students to know that they are welcome to come, and we will be um, telling you guys when you can go to the funeral. You will be able to miss school if it is during school hours and you will not be penalized because of it. 
so that is just what I need to tell you guys. So anyway, now we are going to just take out the books and begin trigonometry. I can't believe they painted the walls pink too. I know. And I thought it was weird that we had white lockers and now we have pink walls. I mean, honestly, what kind of school is this? It's like a 15-year-old girl's bedroom. I know. Hey, wait, where's Winter? Oh, she had to stay after. Apparently she had some questions about the homework or something. Oh. <sighs> that was weird, what she talked about. What do you mean? I, I, I don't know. It's just nothing. It's just a parent's suicide. And they went to go to a visitation or a funeral. And it's only last night. I mean, why are they telling her about this thing? It just... It all just seems a bit odd to me, you know? Honestly, Samantha, I am sure you're overreacting. Matthew? What? Okay, look, an odd duckling. I mean, honestly, you're the only person who still has a haircut like that. You always call me Sammy. You're the only one I allow to call me Sammy. You only call me people by their real name. So as you give everybody nicknames, you're nervous or you're hiding something. Okay, fine, you caught me. I just... Uh, me and Ariel, we were... You guys were a thing? You had a girlfriend? You didn't tell me? No, no, no. I, I like somebody, and they don't know, and I'm too afraid to tell them, but that's beside the point. We were friends, and she stopped talking to me about two weeks ago. She, like, she... She started acting like she's mad about something, and I, I just didn't know what. And I tried to text her, and she didn't answer. She killed herself, and I, I didn't do anything to stop it. <sighs> Truth is, I had talked to her sometimes, uh, just a couple of times too. I mean, nothing that much or anything, but I do. I will admit. I thought it was a bit odd. Yeah, well, I, I gotta go to class. Bye, Sammy. Bye, Matthew. Look, I know you two have been friends since kindergarten, and I know you say you don't like him, but you guys would be so cute together. He does not like me, and I don't like him. You know I like Lane, and I'll never get him because, well, I mean, He's dating the hottest girl at our school. I don't know why you like him. He's so stuck up. But Matthew. No, he's pretty cool. You're a dork, Winter. Why are you trying to set me up with guys? Why don't you try to set up yourself? Because I'm a strong independent woman who doesn't need any men. Plus, I've been chatting with some guy on text. I mean, I got his number at a mall a few weeks ago when you were grounded, you know, for that incident with your sister. And so, you know, I had to go by myself because I had to find this new clothes and I got this shirt there and it's like, it is honestly so cute. Like, on, I mean, honestly. And I got this cute guy's number and we've been texting. When, can I get in my locker? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sure. Just No one ever really seems to get into their lockers at this school. I mean, our lockers are pretty small, and they don't open very good, and... Yeah. Winter, I get it. Okay, now, come on. We have to go to English. I'm coming. Let me just get my textbook. Okay, let's go. Oh. <laughs> you messed up my bun. You messed up my jacket. <laughs> It's you. It's you. Where's Victoria? I don't know. I've been looking for her. Like, I don't know what to do without her. Look at the pretty pink wall. Oh, I love them. They're so pretty and great. Why are you talking like that? Miranda thinks this is my mom. She's my mermaid mom. I love these balls. They're so pretty. They're all pretty. They're so pretty! And people say, I'm dumb. <laughs> I mean, I'm. Uh. 
you in here what our pre-algebra teacher would say to you? I don't know. I don't really listen in school. I mean, that's probably the reason I'm still in pre-algebra. They're so pretty. The world is so pretty. The world. They're so pretty. I love them. Oh, I love them. I, I love them. I think I might be a wall sexual. That, d that is just offensive. Okay. No, she said something about, like, that girl Ariel dying. She died? I mean, like, I knew we did that thing, but, like, I didn't know she would die. It didn't Ari um, Victoria say we have to be quiet about that? I mean, didn't you say, like, a lot of people weren't supposed to know what we did? Um, I guess you're right. Anyway, I have to go now. Where? I don't know. I think you're supposed to go somewhere in high school. I love walls. Walls are so pretty. Walls are really great. I just love walls. Walls are my babies. I love walls. They're right. No one can ever find out what we did. <laughs>